Hello everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we're taking on the most popular super expert courses. I've already done number one from Spyro, I did that as a short, that was a really cool level, so let's dive into number two. From Gringo DK? Oh, Gringo DK's in the number two spot. FPP39, remember these. Okay, this is gonna be great. Gringo DK is one of my favorite level creators. Let's see what we got here. Gringo DK makes a lot of amazing levels, but they're usually at the expert. Woo, expert difficulty level instead of the super expert. Alright, so I think once I get to that one, I have to go fast and get that, that jump off there. Like this to fast. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought we were going to have a second to think. Okay, now we got a second to think. 28 seconds. We're already 13 into the level. No, 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 no. Oh, we did it. We did it. There's our checkpoint. Whew. What is... Oh, okay. Bait it. It comes down, then we land on top of it. All right, we got it now. We got it. Nobody saw that. There we go, like that. Yeah. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Oh, almost. Just a little bit more focus on that speed. This is a really good level. This is this is what you want when you want platforming precision. This is textbook what you want when you want platforming precision. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Get the run first, we got it now, we got this, we got this. This part's gonna be hard. Oof, oof, oof. Is that it? And we did it. Gringo DK, once again, showing to be a fantastic level creator. That is platform precision, that was so much fun. In the number three slot, we've got Labyrinth Woods from Korean. All right. Oh, I get it, I get it. Okay. The munchers set off the bombs, which then allow me to go. That's pretty cool. It's all about the timing. Oh, I hit the wall too soon. We're 15 seconds in. It's 42 seconds. We're going to have at least one checkpoint. At least one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Uh-oh. Ooh. I didn't think we were going to make that. This is such a cool design. Oh, very short hop over that. Very short. Here we go. Short hop. Big hop. Uh oh. The timing on that one's going to be a bit interesting. There we go. Okay, that was cool. This is such a well-made level. Such an original concept. So well laid out. Everything is... That's the end. This was fantastic. And there's the extra three one-ups. A 50 coin if you want it to. We are getting some amazing levels today. It's, it's no wonder these are the top-ranked ones. These so far have just been amazing. Alright, third level for the week. My wife loves Kaizo from Dream... Dream Dead Mate. Drop Dead Mate. Oh, Drop Dead Mate. Wow. I didn't read that at all. That's that's not as enthusiastic and wonderful as I was hoping that name was. All right. Oh! <laughs> Took me too long to see what was going on there. Ba -da -ba -ba. Didn't mean to do that, but if I can do that, I feel like I should do that. Alright, take the mole. That's great. Oh, I am supposed to carry a pot with me after all. Man, I thought I was being like smart there, getting that pal. What is this? Do I need one of those bombs? I feel like I'm supposed to take a bomb, stand in here, detonate the on off, and then walk through. Okay, so I'm I'm done for. This time we're going to take that second bomb with us. We're not going to... We're not going to get hit with it when it detonates. What do you shoot? Okay. You shoot another one? Did I have to get that first one? Ooh, okay. 
Now the thing I don't know is in Super Mario 3, do I ride that or do I bounce off of that once I jump on it? Because I can never keep track of which game the behavior is which way. Okay. You, you stand on top of it, you don't bounce off of it. Ooh, that momentum. Okay, I catch back up with it over there. Then I transfer on to the, um, the blue. Jumping onto a, a moving shell is just very difficult for me. This is something I've been saying to a couple of people recently about a bunch of different things. Especially comes into play when we're talking about Elden Ring, which a ton of people have been playing lately. Difficulty is subjective. Jumping onto a moving target like this for somebody could be a really easy thing. For me, this is not one of my strong points. Something I definitely need to get better at, because it is something that comes up a good bit. Ooh, almost. Oh. That worked. 100% cheese that... Not even intentional cheese. We take that and we smile. Oh, that's... That's interesting. I'm gonna see where the best spot to stand and kick it is. Okay, so I gotta be pretty much like right up against it and I'm good. What I'm gonna do instead of going right up against it is I'm gonna wait a second and kick it now. That worked. No! <laughs> oh... I should have known it was going to be safe. There we go. Oh, I waited too long. Alright, looks like here we got a little bit of a zigzag on the way down after we jump. Alright, follow the coins. Oof. Okay, I'm supposed to climb these. I can make it back up there, right? Alright. Nice. Oh no, oh, I thought I didn't make it. I think that's the end. That is the end. This level uh, was way more harder for me personally than I feel like it should have been just because of my own personal um, weakness. Um, when it was jumping on that moving shell, that just was not my strong suit at all. Very good level, very well made, and I appreciate the opportunity to confront something that I'm not that great with and, uh, and get better at it. Good job. Number four for the week is Stargazer. Again from Korean. 2-2. Two, two, let's go up to find a bigger star. Okay, the last level we played from Korean was really good. Let's see what this one is. Alright, we go fast. Low gravity? Yes, low gravity. Just run and trust the level and I get the feeling everything's gonna work out. We're gonna do that. That was pretty nice. Checkpoint already? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay, wait until the cannon is at its peak, and then jump. Right there. Ah! Oh. Okay. The coins are a very good indicator for when I should jump. I just need to watch the coins. Just short. Almost. So close. There we go. Almost got nudged off. Trust the coins. This is so cool. I didn't trust the coins. I stayed on for a longer ride than I should have. Ooh, almost got got there. All right, trust the coins.
Because I jumped, I triggered the ones above me way sooner than they should have been triggered. Okay, I think I could probably just short hop that. Very short. Oh! Gotta, gotta actually land on the mole before I can short hop. Very short. There we go. That's really cool. Whew. I think we might have done it. But this low gravity really messes with me. Yep, those are one ups, so I think that means we got it. Yeah, this was a good level. We're gonna we're gonna get the uh, the top of the bar. Yeah, this was a great level. It was a lot of fun. Low gravity, definitely not my specialty, but it's something that I'm working on, and this level was a great use of it. A lot of fun, a lot of bouncing here, then spinning around, then coming back. I loved it. Light of Sprites from John Was Gone. A light Kaizo collab for Facebook with the amazing maker Banky Nuts. This one looks familiar. Okay, never mind. Okay, I knew something was coming there. That's so cool. Oh, I thought I was going to bounce off of something there. Okay, you land on it, you stand on it. Alright, here we go. Now just stand. Cool. One, two, one. Okay, after the second one, you go over. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I missed that last time. Land in it. Okay. I feel like I landed right on that indicator. We'll try it the same way again, but uh... That might just be one of those spots where the indicator can't really be perfect, because it doesn't line up perfectly. We'll see right here. In it. Oh, you know what? That works. No, it doesn't. Release the grab button. Perfect. Alright, that worked. What now? Big jump, big jump, into the pipe. Probably checkpoint. Okay. We're pretty much at the checkpoint. There we go. Alright, big jump. I need to fall off of the, uh, the snake block, as opposed to jumping off of it. Jumping off of it messed up the timing and got me killed. Yep, 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 yep. We got it. Alright, and we got the checkpoint, and... Okay, we just jump. I thought maybe they were gonna move or something. What is... what is this? What is... okay. Go quick. Alright, wait. That was really cool. Still cool. Four. There are four markers there. I only bounced three times. Right, this part's really cool. One, two, three, four. That was really cool. One more key needed. What's in the bonus room? Is it 1-ups? 1-up. 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 Watch it just kill me. Hey lab. Yeah, and it shoots some more 1-ups at me. GG, I love that. This was a very fun level. A lot of the engineering in it was just fantastic. You could see like gear spinning, things blowing up to things, things triggering other things. Just, just amazing job. Level six for the week: a peaceful hike up Piranha Peak from Pillowmore. This isn't as relaxing as they said in the guidebook. Total tourist trap. This level looks like a lot of fun. Looks like precision, 
blue platforming. And you know I'm here for that. Let's go. We got this. I'm focusing because there's a slight chance I might be able to one-shot a super expert level here. And if I can, I really want to do that. Do I go for it? Do I go for it? We go for it. We go for it. With the one-shot on the line, we still go for it. Oh boy. I think that's halfway. Yep, that's halfway. Nope! <laughs> I'm never gonna get my one-shot on one of these videos. I'm never gonna get a one-shot on like one of the most popular Super Expert level videos. Watch me clean this up in like a two- nope, okay. We're going to three lives now. Slide under. I love this slide under technique. Ooh, went too soon. There we go. That was getting really tight there. Alright, and now the third one, I really want to wait because the ceiling is really, really low at that point. Alright, wait, go. Wait, go. Okay. A lot of waiting to go in there. 50 coin, 50 coin. I need it. I need it. Was it worth it? It was worth it. This one looks harder. Oh, we got it though. We got it. Now we never have to go back for it again, even if we die. Because we did it once. We did it once. And that's the end! Oh man, I I don't even need to say anything about this level. Anybody who's been watching me for a while knows Blue Platform Precision is my favorite. And this was a great example of that. Good job. Level 7 and our final level for the week is Olay from Casper. Thick Mushroom, two checkpoints. I'm not so good with the Mega Mushroom, Super Mushroom, I don't know what it's called. The Mushroom that makes you big. I, I don't know too much about how to use it, so we'll see how this goes. Can I, can I ride the Mecha Koopa when I have the big mushroom? I feel like that's what it's telling me here. I feel like it wants me to do that, but bounce it the other way and then ride it on the lava. We're gonna do a big jump just to see. Oh, we can do a big jump. Okay. So we're gonna add a little bit of height to these jumps. Not much, but just a little bit. First one will be pretty big. Okay. Okay, hit the on-off, bounce off of the brick, that small boost up will probably be enough to get me into the boot. I think I'm supposed to jump off, hit the on-off, jump back into the boot. There we go. Hold, hold right, no height to that jump at all, no height to that jump at all. Then I bounce up when it's time to get the shell. Ah, oh, so close. I don't even think I need to preserve the mushroom, because I bet that's the checkpoint. Man, I'm starting to get this down. That is fantastic. There we go. Yep, it's gonna be uh, a two checkpoint. That is a power up check, all right. What do I do here? I don't know what that was. We gotta figure that out because I killed both of the posts. Big jump back. Yeah, okay. Oh, I get it. I get it. 
It's an immediate jump on the post. That way I save the second post so I can land on it and do an immediate jump off of that one. Alright, let's try this. There we go. That's perfect. Oh cool, I trigger on off so by massive body. Okay. Into the boot. Short hops. That's no good. Oh, I came so close to getting that short hop. Pick that, bounce off that, and then we're home free. So close, so close. There we go. Final section. Alright, gotta ride that one. Gotta get the boot. Do a whole bunch of things. Keep doing things. Do some more things. We are not even close to being out of the woods yet. Here we go. That's the end. Gonna have a power check though, isn't it? Yeah, I see it right there. Little stump. Wait for the spring. Over. Catch the boot. Kick the shell. Bounce off the shell into the pipe. And I think we got the W here. Oh no, there's more. Okay, ride that. Bounce off that, bounce off that, bounce off that, bounce off him, go into the pipe. Alright, here we go. This is it. One, two, three, four, over. Bounce, 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 bounce. And that is it, and we got the power through this, this creator. I'm fairly certain it's this creator who has given me <laughs> the last two levels that were very similar to this one. I am learning how to use this mushroom, and it's always about bouncing off of things and keeping those bounces going with either water, or in this case lava, low gravity. Just really fantastic work, very difficult level. I've been recording for an hour and a half now, and this was 45 minutes of that. So seven levels, six of them took 45 minutes, this one took 45 minutes. It was a fun one, but it was difficult. And that's it for today, I'll see you guys in the next video.